The scene above ground in Cairo is often a complete standstill. But below the surface, it's a different story. This is the Egyptian capital's lifeblood, without which it would simply come to a grinding halt. When I use the metro, I'm never late for work. It's also well maintained. It's quick and on time, but I've got to say it can be quite intense during rush hours. Three and a half million people use it every day. Now officials are trying to speed up construction in the unfinished parts of the six-line network. Work is underway on the partially open third line, which will link the capital from east to west. This stage of the third line is expected to be done by the end of the year. Ultimately, the line will reach Cairo International Airport, providing for the first time proper and convenient public transport to the airport. Engineer Abdelali Musa has overseen the construction of every line since work began in the early 80s. He's proud, but wants more. It requires billions of dollars to build a single stage and that sometimes causes a holdup, like the five-year gap we saw between the first and second lines. But what I'm trying to do now is combine construction phases to speed up final delivery. The newest line has air-conditioned cars, something the Metro Authority is trying to introduce to older trains. The reality is, not all stations are this pristine. Scenes like this are a reminder that the metro is not perfect. The service has also suffered intermittent cuts lately as protesters took their anger underground. But the value of this crucial means of transport is never in question. The third line carries the same number of passengers as 20,000 buses would. What streets are available for that number of buses? And what pollution would that cause? The first line covers 44 kilometers in 40 minutes. The bus would take more than two hours. You can't put a price on time or health. And with an almost flawless safety record, Cairo's underground appears to have earned its bragging right as the only functioning thing in an otherwise dysfunctional metropolis. Raoui Ragh, Al Jazeera, Cairo.